Doctor, he is losing blood quickly. I know his arms are weak. Please, spaghetti. Come on, don't fucking die on me. Prepare the ER. I need more scissors. More fucking scissors. He's got a body made of steel. It was bad. Michael Jadson was brutally injured in our last game. I didn't leave his side. I fucking need him. Thank God his wife Jenna Jadson was there as well. But how was I supposed to save SCGK Rodriguez without him? How? How to stand a chance in Division 1 when your captain is not there to lead? Please be strong Michael Jadson. Who the fuck is there? May I talk to Mrs. Jadson about her husband? No, fuck you. You're talking to me, his master. So tell me doctor, how is his penis? What? His internal organs are damaged. We are not treating his penis. I'll get you out of this fucking death trap Michael Jadson. I put you in the same tank where some Goku healed against Freezer. You'll be better soon pal. Oh telephone. Hello George. How is Michael Jadson? Suck some balls man. He nearly died because of you. I had nothing to do with this. We need him to win the title in Division 1 George. Why do you want me to win the title? Who the fuck are you? You'll find out soon enough. Let me lay down the rules here. If you win the title you can have your dear SCGK Rodriguez back. If not, he will die. How am I supposed to win without JJ fucking Michael Jadson? Figure it out you fight fucking idiot. Goodbye. So we finally did it. We reached Division 1 but with Michael Jadson injured and Elkison gone we had some places to fill in our team. Scooter Buddy Buddy Pal Sun earned his spot as left midfielder and Jar Jar Binks Ronald Inyo was taking the first cam shot spot. But someone had to fill the two big cock socks Elkison and Jadson left so we got us two new players. The first one is a very mysterious man from Morocco. Usafa. Seems to be a man who prefers boobs over ass. Boo. Boo boo boo. Usafa. Boo. Boo boo boo. Usafa. So he was taking the place of none other than Michael Jadson. But we got us someone special for the striker spot. A real fucking rock star. They call him Fagner Love. They call him Fagner Love. Faggy 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 Fagner Love. The complete opposite of a limp biscuit. So this was it. The team was stacked. Division 1. The place where the big boys play. But you know what? I don't motherfucking care. Throw at me what you got, you wankers. Okie dokie. So the first win was handed to us by a wanking quitter. But this team looked more like Division 1. Capturing the Division 1 title to save SCGK Rodriguez will be fucking hard. We can't lose more than 3 games or it is over. So boob man Busafa showed glimpses of Michael Jadson from the get go. Maybe not all hope is lost. Fagner Love showed off his rocky attitude but could not convert his shot. Without Michael Jadson there was no one on field to give tactical orders so Paris Hilton satisfied her need for balls with a horrible corner. So it was up to Scooter Sun Buddy Pal to make something happen. He put inside the box did some Scooty Scooter stuff and got us a penalty. Thank God we had a new reliable penalty taker in Rockstar Fagner Love and he took it like fuck my man okay now you want to take penalties okay fuck you are my grave man you are my fucking grave. Fuck. 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 You're giving all of us a hard time black man, you really do. Fuck will this ever stop man will this ever stop? So our fucking rock star tried a hard on rainbow flick but yeah, Paris Hilton was exhausted from her corner balls and didn't even really try. House of Wax man. So we had to start over again but we had this game under control so it was no problem. Fuck white man now you want super duper bacon fatty Adriano in goal your penis is too big man it's just too big. Soupy doopy super fatty in goal. I'm sure this will work out just fine. Oh shit oh fuck come on super booper fatty you can do it. Fuck the tackle was like a billion miles off thanks black man thanks. God you fat fucking turd. Oh I get it. Black man wanted someone to play with. Beautiful. 
One of them is black and fast and the other one could be mistaken for a train. This makes me so hard. So last time it was MC Gady who stepped up his game when Michael Jackson couldn't play because of his depressions and boy he informed tried. My enemy was through on goal again but we had a fat fucking train to just roll him over. Fatty. Come on Bacon Super Fatty just smash him into the fucking ground you can do it. That did not just fucking happen. Oh Fatty. It's okay. We've got still some time left. Thank god we had a certain inform wizard. MC Gaty marched on a dumb and it was fucking time to say thank you. Inform. M. C. Gaty. M. C. Gaty. Thank you. Inform. M. C. Gaty. We were going for the win now. Juicy Gay Dodge Silva tricked his opponent played a cheeky pass and Jar Jar Binks Ronaldinho nearly scored a super goal. Super Mac Booger Fat Adriano threw the ball as hard as his fat body let him but yeah. Erection fading, erection fading even more, Warner. Gone. Please Michael Jadson, get well soon. Dickman Ford is in the fucking building. So tell me George. How are you going to make me miserable today? Well if I find out who the fucking murderer is I might get to him first before he kills another player. So I got the brain trust together. And who the fuck would that be? Me and my brother Clint. The smartest man I know. Hey bro. How is the penis? Harder than ever. Thanks for asking bro. Cool cool. So the only thing I know about the murderer is that he is wearing black. Oh my god. You know who is wearing black? No. That can't be. Batman. No wait. Batman doesn't kill people. Fuck you're right. Okay who is black and kills people? Oh my god. Are you thinking the same I'm thinking? I guess so bro. A black shark. I think we are getting closer. Well I'm getting closer to pull a Kurt Cobain here for sure. So we actually lost the first game in Division 1. That can't fucking happen again. I don't want to lose SCGK Rodriguez. My enemy had a lot of familiar faces. But I don't fucking care. Throw everything you got at me, buddy. Fuck. Kevin Toe. God damn it. Oh boy. Our penis will eat on our penis, our penis, wagon, a penis, penis, penis. You know what, Coach Slutsky? You're goddamn fucking right. Fuck this shit. I'm a pace abuse the shit out of all those wankers with over penis well eaten. You can all go suck my pace abusing dick you wankers. Oh and fuck you Elton John. Also welcome back scooter buddy buddy pal somebody. Oh pal. You're in for a pounding. I'm not in this to lose another fucking game. It just can't happen. So right from the start over penis well eaten send mysterious boob man Busaka on his way but he was boob blocked by checkmate. Oh awesome. Come on scooter buddy pal somebody buddy buddy run for your life pal you can fucking do it. It's getting hot in here so take it all your close scooter somebody pal you're out here we all love you scooter. So we pace abused the shit out of Welly Ton on the flank and he played a nice cross to Juicy Gay Dodge Silva but his awesome attempt was too creepy in the end. Sadly inform MC Gaty was injured but that would not stop us. Over penis Welly Ton abused my enemy some more and then he just had to fucking. Well I guess being down one goal is a good reason to just give up. What a wanker. So you wanna hear more about the brain trust? Fuck no George. I would rather drink my own piss take a bath in my own vomit or read the second page of your twilight fanfiction with you. I just made a huge fucking mistake. Oh no. Matthew McConaughey has Bella's son. I have to save her. Oh look who is there. It is Harry Potter. Oh George. Congratulations on your massive wiener. I just wanted to tell you that you are a wizard. I knew it. And you are already more powerful than all other wizards combined. Of course I am. Oh look. It's Dragon Ball Z fighter son Goku. Oh George. I just wanted to tell you that you are a super saiyan. And your penis too. And your power level is over 500 billion. Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. Also you are a Pokemon master and your Pokemon is Miranda from Sex and the City. Okie dokie. So now that I'm the ultimate wizard Super Saiyan Pokemon Master I am ready to save you Bella-san. 
pretty awesome, don't you think? Dear God. If you're somewhere out there, this would be a good time to just blast me off the earth. Your Dickman fraud. So we got a rock star back as right midfielder for injured in form MC Gady. Our enemy have a Bundesliga squad with all oh my fucking god, Mr. Ivory Man, your face is messed up how it really is. Well, we already lost two games and we're walking on pins and needles. This had to be a fucking win. Even without Michael Jadson, so sexy Mario Gomez tried to hurt us at the start but luckily he missed. Thank god we had a pretty over penis player in our squad and he did what he does best. <laughs> the game went back and forth after we took the lead. Without Michael Jackson we had problems coming up with chances in Division 1, so it was Jar Jar Binks Ronaldinho who tried to make stuff happen but the keeper saved his shot. Man it was fucking hard to score in this game. Ball with love. That's good work. Jar Jar titties and my dick is hard. Jar Jar running the house. So after our black man saved a shot from Mr. Reberry with his face scooty scooter son buddy buddy got us a very erected penalty. Sounds like a job for a certain rock star they are calling Fagner Love. They call him Fagner Love. Faggy 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 Fagner Love. Man being a rock star must be fucking awesome. Sex. Drugs. Even more drugs. Some more drugs. And rock and roll. Fuck damn. So even though we conceded the game was actually going pretty well. I mean there were like no chances except the goals but the team was here to save a life. Corners disease. What the flying fuck. Luckily for us nothing really happened in the last minute so we got away with our third win in Division 1, but we already had two losses. And on top of that our captain was still injured. We need you man. So when do you think that Piss will find out who you really are? As soon as we reach out home. Or you know, when all his loved ones are bleeding to death on the ground. Guys, did you like this episode? I've got three more questions for you. The first one is should we risk playing Michael Jadson in the next game? The second one is should we keep Busafa and Fagner love or should we add someone new? And the third one is there something you want to see before the road to fucking glory ends? If you want you can follow good old George on Twitter. I would be rock hard for every like and comment. George is out of the building catching snakes. See you assholes. <laughs>